Good morning and welcome. I'm Celeste and this is my YouTube channel, Celeste Creates. And I'm here with you today for floss tube number 67. And today is Wednesday, March 13th, I'm pretty sure. And my hair is frizzing today because it is very humid here um, near Houston. And that's just the way it happens. But I feel like my hair is just kind of today <laughs> so you didn't come to hear about my hair but um, thank you for joining me all the same and I am here to share with you cross stitching today um, I don't think I have any quilting really to share with you today so it's mostly cross stitch and I will announce a giveaway at the end and have another giveaway for you and we'll talk about that more later um, I've got a finish, I've got a couple of whips, and just some fun things to talk with you about. And so, like I said, um, this is number 67. I can't believe it. We're really getting up there in numbers of videos. Um, hard to believe. I think this summer we'll make four years of filming videos, so that's kind of exciting. Um, We've been doing well around here. Um, like I said, humid. The oak pollen is coming out, which doesn't tend to bother me. My season here in Texas or on the Gulf Coast is usually in the fall with the ragweed. That one really kills me. But right now, all the oak pollen is coming out and um, it's driving our dog, Doug, absolutely crazy. He's scratching all the time. So I keep giving him some Benadryl so he can get some rest in between the scratching. Um, but poor dog. So that is kind of, everything's starting to bed out here. So I think we've had our fill of any cold weather. I'm not even sure we need any more cool weather. Um, but it's been really, really nice. So I will take that for as long as it lasts as well. Because before I know it, it'll be super hot. Um, so it is spring break for us here at home. So my two, the homeschool have this week off and, um, then my two other sons, um, the one that's in law school and the one that's, um, freshman in college, they're both home for spring break this week. Last week was my daughter's spring break. And so they don't coincide different schools. Um, so she had spring break last week, but she didn't come home because she went to Chicago on a mission trip with the Missionaries of Charity, the sisters that Mother Teresa started. So there's a group of them in Chicago and she did a mission trip in downtown Chicago and they did street ministry and minister to the poor and she just had an absolutely wonderful, wonderful trip. So we won't get to see her till she comes home for Easter, but that's not very long really. We're almost to the end of Lent and Easter is almost here, woohoo. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're doing good. Just doing stuff around here and, um, trying to stay out of trouble and getting some stitching done this week while we're not doing school. So I think that's about it. All right. So let me show you my finish. Um, I think I finished this last Wednesday. Um, oh, hey, Ruby. <laughs> um, this is a chart from Plum Street Samplers called This Is The Day, and I believe it was released maybe 2022. I forget. I could probably pull out the chart, but I didn't. But I also need to, oh, this is on Grazia, I believe. Hold on, let me. Okay, so I was right. Um, I started this in March of 2022. I believe it was a market release that year and I got right on it after I received it. It was probably my favorite market release that year. And this is on 36 Count Grazia from um, Tropical Stitches. And I finished this last Wednesday. This is with all the called for colors, but I'll tell you the change that I did make. I love it so much really fun it is a big house um with a lot of stitching but it was fun to stitch the bricks because it's um more like a little game instead of being a house where you've got fill in it's like a little game it's like oh where's the next brick of this color and you're kind of looking around where can i go next 
So, um, I felt like it was really fun. Of course, I love the verse. I love that pot of flowers there. And I love the aqua in it. So the only change I made was um, the goats. Mr. Goat there, who's flying through the air. And here's these two goats stacked on top of each other. So they were supposed to be this color. And I just wasn't seeing them well enough. I think I said last time, I'm okay with the, the smoke from the chimneys being in the white but I just wasn't seeing the goats like I wanted to. So I changed the goats to gray and I'm really glad I did. I just love how that turned out. I know I saw somebody on Instagram that had done this and I copied them and I'm sorry, I don't remember who that was, but um, anyway, I love how it turned out. I'm thinking a white frame would be really fun on this one. Just not sure yet. I need to get out there in the garage before it gets too hot and actually frame. So there we go. That's a finish. This is the day by Plum Street Samplers. So I'm super excited to have that finished. So one of the other um, projects that I've been working on, I think I've said before, I usually have something going upstairs here in my little stitching area for like when I'm the kids are doing school and I'm up here in the mornings. And then my main stitching chair is downstairs in the family room. And so I have been working on a chart. I haven't gotten a ton done, but it's so pretty. Um, this is the Ooh La La book from, um, I must get over a little bit, sorry. <laughs> this is the Ooh La La book from Blackbird Designs. And I have stitched, a, uh, no, I've stitched one thing out here for sure, maybe two really, really pretty things in here. Actually, I think I've stitched. What have I stitched? Well, let's just look because it's fun. Uh, there's a little red sampler that I have not stitched. Another red sampler that I have not stitched. Another one I have not stitched. There's several little red samplers in here. If you're looking for a small red sampler, there's maybe four or five. I have stitched this one called a little bit French and I think down here I put John 316. Uh, let's see. So that was fun. I absolutely love this small little sticky note on it. It's called a bit of spring. I would love to do that one. Really pretty. Love the colors in that one. Cherry cobbler. No, that's that one. A little bit of spring has, oh, some really pretty colors in it. Cinnamon toast and Tennessee red clay, used brick, oh, purple paint, baked apple, brick. So many pretty colors in that one. Definitely going to have to do that one. Let's see. Well, maybe I thought I'd done more in here, but it's fun to look at. I did do this one and I made it just like this. This is called Last Rose of Summer. And I've got the box from Hobby Lobby or wherever it came from and made it just like that for my sister. I would love to stitch this one again for myself because it's super pretty. And so then the one that I'm working on right now, I put the last one in the book, yep, is Spring Green. And I'm not gonna put Spring Green down here. I can't decide. Maybe welcome spring or spring arrives or spring something. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm working. <laughs> so I'm using all the club four colors except I did not have weeks sand or it was somewhere and I couldn't find it. And so those are all the colors. So I'm just using the DMC instead of the sand. Oh pretty. And this is a scrap of something. And that's my progress so far. Love those flowers. So looking forward to continuing to work on that one and get a little finish on that. Then last week, um, it had been calling to me since I knew I was trying to finish. This is the day I'd been trying to finish up a couple of pieces that I knew it was, excuse me, that I was kind of close to a finish on. So I'd been working on a few of those. 
and this is the day was one of those so I was getting that one finished so in my bedroom is consider the lilies and I see it often like well every morning when I make my bed and um of course I love looking at it but for some reason um you know, it's finished and hanging on the wall, but um, his eyes on the sparrow has really been calling to me. So I started that last fall with my friend Chrissy and um, I got a good bit done to start it off and I've just been wanting to get back to it. So it, like I said, it's been calling to me. So after I finished, this is the day I picked this up last Thursday. I may have had one or two days where I didn't do much or any stitching since last Thursday, but I've really made a a lot of progress and I feel like it's just zipping along. I'll insert a picture right here of where I left off when I put it away last time. So um, like you can see a really good start but I just feel like it's been um, it's been going quickly maybe I'm just so enjoying it so much so of course it's a huge piece of linen um I think this is just 36 count light mocha and let me just fold it here so you can see it oh, what I've got so now you can see how much I've done <laughs> in a week about a week, a little less than a week, maybe six days, five days. I really am loving it. It's just zipping along. It's really fun. Um, I love the border. The border for this, having done Consider the Lilies, the border for this one is um, simpler. Um, there's not color change. It's just a little bit. The flowers are a little less... Um, I mean, you get into a rhythm, but this border is just a little bit simpler. Love the spotted cow. <laughs> Love those. Love that bird. I got this, I guess he's a deer. I got him um, all outlined and his spots done. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna move on and work on other motifs and I'll save him for when I need a little bit of fill in. So um, I'm pretty sure this right here is halfway across the top. And then this is the side of the house. And then there's another side over here and that's the center part. So here is what I have, think I've decided. I was <laughs> texting my friends, Saturday Stitcher friends yesterday, kind of um, agonizing over color. Um, I usually I don't do a lot of color changing, um, mostly because I feel like I trust most designers and I, I just really, you know, I've been happy so far using what they call for. Anyway, but um, the house on Consider the Lilies is a wonderful red color and I do love that house. And I will, I don't have a color picture of, of his eyes on the sparrow of this one. So I'll insert the picture of the finished product here. And um, I tried to do a little close up there too of the house. And I think the house, this is, these are the flosses. They're really beautiful. I did consider the lilies in DMC. And this time I decided, because I do love overdyed so much, um, I decided to go ahead and do the overdyes this time. And they're really beautiful. So the house is done in caramel corn, which I do love. Oops. I do love that, uh, but there's a lot of it, um, and in the in the sampler all together, and you know I, I just I like other colors too. I saw somebody on Instagram that used chickpea instead for their house, and then um, I think I've seen people use country redwood to make it a red house instead. But I wanted a blue house since consider the lilies is red. I thought I really I love blue. So how about blue? I want to do a blue house, but not too blue. <laughs> so the colors of blue that are already in are, um, this one is um, Brethren Blue. And this isn't really a blue, it's Lexington Green, but it's on the blue side. When you get it on this bird, 
here, he starts looking more blue. So Brethren Blue, um, there's this green that's called Bayberry. And those just all have a real, so, um, I don't know, a greenish hue to them, I feel like. So um, there's this one too, Fisherman's Wharf, but that has just a little bit of blue in it. Um, so I was trying a couple of blues and <laughs> texting my friends and I don't know, what should I do? Um, and I think I finally came up with um, Classic Colorworks Old Money. And I like how it looks. So I tried, I think I tried Aged Pewter. I tried Barn Gray. And then I tried this old money. So old money is on the top here. So that's Brethren Blue, that's Lexington Green, and that's Aged Pewter. So I really, I kind of like those three together. I think that's going to look really nice. So you can see here, so that's the Lexington Green, there's Brethren Blue, and I did do each color on the house, but I ripped out the others. So there's a little bit of that old money barely see it but I didn't I just didn't want it to be too strong um, but I did want um, an overall bluish house <laughs> so I think I'm happy I'm gonna work on filling in some more of the house in a little bit and we'll see how I feel so that is his eyes on the sparrow I love it it is so beautiful and I'm just having so much fun with it so anyway um I remember back in 2020 when I came back to cross stitch was when I started consider the lilies and I worked on it for a long long time and then I just got stalled out um and it took me a while before I could come back and pick it back up and finish it so hopefully it won't happen with this one but um Right now, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I will keep stitching on that until I'm ready to pull out another sampler and um, then I'll move on. <laughs> um, another thing I did, so those are my whips. Those are the only two things I worked on. I did do a little bit of fill in on Liberty's Welcome, but I'm not showing you that every time because it's just filling in a house or I'm filling in grass. It's not real exciting and um, Someday when I get to the good parts or I actually finish a substantial part of the fill-in, I'll show it to you again. But that's kind of my car project that I take if I'm sitting waiting somewhere. I'm just filling, filling in. So um, I'll show you that when I feel like I've made some progress worth showing. <laughs> the other thing I did um, since I last saw you is I had a cross-stitch, a beginning cross-stitch class at a local quilt shop called the Sparkly Elephant in Friendswood, Texas. She so generously allowed me to teach a beginning cross-stitch class. I had four students and it was really, really great. I really enjoyed it. Um, we spent, it was a two-part class. We did the first night was um, a lot of basics and really just getting them going, talking about linen and floss and um, other fabrics and um, it was really fun. It was really fun and just getting them started making those stitches was really fun. And then the second night we worked on a project and I wasn't quite sure would they be able to finish it or not. And they weren't, we didn't get to finish it in class. So this was the project that I had advertised. This is a freebie online. I'll put a link to it below. So that's what I was hoping we would like completely finish, but the stitching was just taking them longer and they were enjoying it. So. I love how that it looks and a little so he goes in my stash my collection and then while they were working on theirs I'd finished another one on Ada <laughs> and um, they were kind of like how did you finish that so fast and so I was like well I've done it a while <laughs> um, I forgot to bring stuff to finish the back so I'll have to do that here soon but this is gonna go in part of a special giveaway today so I'm gonna tuck that it won't have a hole in the back I'm gonna tuck that in something today um, okay so let me talk about plans real quick so like I said I didn't do a whole lot of sewing um, recently um, in the last two weeks but I did um, finish something that I had been working on and I'm kind of glad I finished it and so I was working on the tiny nine patch quilt along that um, 
Taryn at Repro Quilt Lover, I believe, on Instagram, has started. I was making the nine patches. Really enjoyed it. But I just kind of got to a point where I was like, well, I think I'm done now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I've made enough. So I took the ones that I had made and I made a panel out of it and decided because I thought, well, there's two things I could do here. Um, I'm kind of done making nine patches and I can either um, feel guilty about it and like just stuff them away and feel bad that I didn't make as many as maybe I was supposed to. Um, and then they just sit in a drawer or I can, um, you know, I, I just, there's whole ways I could make myself feel bad that I didn't finish. And then they could languish and, or I'll think, oh, I'll finish that. I'll come back to that and I'll finish some more some other time. Probably not. Um, so what I did is I took, I think I had 30 blocks and I took them and I made a panel um, similar to how she um, laid out um, her blocks in the quilt. And I thought I'm making a project bag out of it and I'm gonna enjoy what I made and I will always use a project bag, right? So here is the bag I made. Actually, I made two bags. You'll see the other one in a minute. And so I made this bag with my nine patches. And I just lined it with some print, a very simple print. And so then I used this to, um, um, has my Easter start that is all ready to go. So Kara at um, Pink Daisy Stitch is Pink Daisy Stitching. It'll be down below. Forgive me. Um, she and I are starting a sampler together um, on Easter and it is Hannah Sanderson. I think I showed you a picture of it last time. I can put another picture of it here. So it's Hannah Sanderson from Dutch Treat Designs. I don't have a picture, a color picture of my own because I have a black and white PDF, but I am ready to go. This is my Easter Sunday start and um, I am super excited. This is, um, these are all the DMCs. All ready to go. Really pretty. All these colors, really beautiful. So all the DMCs, and then um, this is 36 count Lucia. Yeah, Lucia. No, 40 count Lucia from Tropical Stitches. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Lucia, gorgeous. And here are all my DMCs on it. So I was just trying to pick out something really pretty that all these light colors would look good on, so I'm really excited about that. So um, you'll notice that I have not had any haul lately because I gave up buying things for myself for Lent. So <laughs> I haven't been buying. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to starting this with Kara on Easter Sunday. And I've loved it for a long time. And um, so I'm excited to get that going. So that's the bag I made. And it's housing my Easter start. And um, yeah, so like I said, I don't have any haul. Um, I just haven't bought anything. So I haven't even bought anything from market yet. And so it's been a real sacrifice because I keep looking at it all. I know which things I do want. Um, so maybe that'll be fun that by the time Easter gets here and all the market craze has, you know, fizzled just a little bit, that um, then I'll finally get to order my stuff. And then it'll be fun because you'll get to see it and you haven't seen it in a while. So anyway. <laughs> That's a plan, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, another plan, and I might start this after I finish Spring Green. My friend sent me, loaned me this chart, the Floral Heart Kit. And she sent me the extra threads, but I might pull mine from my stash. But isn't that pretty? <clears throat> my sampler's not forgotten. She had stitched it, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, I really want to make that. That's just beautiful. So that's on my, I think after I finish spring green, spring green, I'll work on this. Um, kind of just wanting to, um, I want to do some smalls, but I don't necessarily want to do any seasonal smalls right this minute, um, but more like everyday smalls. 
and that could go out for Valentine's, but for me, that's one of those things that I would keep out year round. I love it. Um, so I think that's it. I have a giveaway from last time. Um, those of you who watched last time, I have finished this needlework ABC from Little House Needleworks and I was giving this chart away. Um, you have to use the word needlework and tell me what you were working on. Sorry, I can see my son out there in the backyard. Um, and I know you did. And so uh, the winner for this chart is... And uh, if you will send me an email, my email is in the drop down box below. Send me an email and I will get this in the mail to you. So um, that's the giveaway from last time. And you can see I kind of tried to um, do a little different. I'm facing a different direction instead of facing exactly this way. Um, I was hoping that maybe the light coming in the window would shine a little differently. I don't know. It's been a little harder. I'm not sure I like the door. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right. So I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. It is so amazing to realize that I've got over 9,000 subscribers now. Um, so exciting. And I'm just, I amazed always that that many people want to subscribe to my channel and all the wonderful people that watch and come back time and time again. So, um, I would love to get to 10,000. That just would be so awesome. And so I have a little bit of a bigger giveaway this time and, um, would love to, if you aren't already subscribing or if there's somebody out there that you know that might enjoy my channel, maybe get them to subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, so this time I have this giveaway because I have gotten over 9,000 and that's just, that was exciting. And then next time, or once I reach 10,000, that I'm going to do a bigger giveaway. And so I'd love to get there. I'd love to um, bless one of y'all or two of y'all with a giveaway um, when I reach 10,000. So um, that would just be so cool. So this time, I'm not going to show you what's in it, but this is, I used, you know, I made this with the panel, but I had enough to make that project bag and then to make this smaller project bag, which fits a, um, you know, like a chart this size perfectly. And you went in in your floss, so it's a great size, or you could use it for some other something, I don't know, <laughs> notions or traveling notions. Um, but anyway, I've made this with um, the rest of the panel, lined it with the same fabric, and it is stuffed with some goodies. So it has some things in it that I won't tell you what's in there. Um, and then I'm gonna put, I did tell you, I'm gonna put that in there as well. Um, but uh, this is my giveaway for getting over 9,000 subscribers. And like I said, I'd love to get to 10,000. Y'all are just such a blessing. And so if you want to enter um, this giveaway, um, like I said, the bag and everything that's in it. Um, I call this a notions pouch to me. I mean, it's project bag, but you know, to me, that's my project bag. And these are, it's a small project bag, but sometimes I end up calling it a notions pouch. So I want to hear what are your favorite notions? So the word is notions. And I want to hear about what are your favorite, whether it's quilting or cross stitch, what are some notions that you just cannot do without in your sewing room, in your cross stitch chair, whatever it is, what are the notions you can't do without? So use the word notions and answer that question, be a subscriber and invite others to subscribe. And, um, I will give this away next time I come back to visit with y'all. So anyway, super fun. Um, thank you all again. It's just amazing. So, um, those are my plans. Go away on the stuff. And then, um, I've been reading. Oh, I've been reading Mansfield Park. I'm about halfway through Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. I am enjoying that. Um, it's different and I, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know the story. So that's kind of fun to know that, um, you know, I'll watch the movie or some version of it when I'm done. Um, but as opposed to like, 
I'd already seen Sense and Sensibility before I actually read Sense and Sensibility. So you kind of have a preconceived notion in your head of what people look like or what the story is going to look like. Um, but this time I have not read, I've not watched Mainsfield Park of any sort. And so I'm reading it and I'm enjoying that. So about halfway through that, that's my book book. <laughs> um, I am also listening. Okay, so I'm just in a sad place, people. Um, I, I know I've been going on and on about my series, the um, Jane Austen mysteries that I have just enjoyed so, so much. So I've listened and or read, but mostly listened to all 14 of the first. So there's only one left, number 15, and I'm waiting for it to be available on audio at the library sits on hold but I'm just it makes me sad every time I think about it that it's almost over um so I guess I could go back and listen to him again and I probably will someday just not right away but it's just kind of like you're losing a friend um <laughs> being so silly about it I can't even um at this point um like in between waiting for the one, last one to be available I've kind of like well gosh I I can't even settle down on something else to listen to. It's like, nothing's quite so good. Anyway, thank you everybody last time who has left me comments about other book series that they like that are clean. Um, I just really appreciate that. So every time somebody would um, send me a suggestion, I would add it to my Goodreads want to read. And um, so I've got some good ones to pull from there right now. I just can't settle into anything. I feel like I'm bereft. Um, anyway. <laughs> so silly um so i'll be reading that one and um i want to read the book called atomic habits it's one of my oldest son's favorite books he's read it twice so he's home i asked him to leave the book with me this time and he was a little reluctant it's like oh but he's gonna let me read it um still working on saint T Teresa of avila the interior castle um like it don't love it but it's a good one. It's a classic, spiritual classic. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm up to. And um, I guess I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Um, does that put me before Easter? Maybe the Easter, the week before Easter? 13, okay, 13, 20, yeah, I think so. So that would be the Wednesday before Easter. I hope to be back and that'll get me in before the um, busy end of Holy Week with Holy Thursday and Good Friday and the Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday. So big week. Um, so I will hope to be back on that day on Wednesday. Wednesday feels like a good day for me right now to come. So um, anyway, that is um, Celeste and her stitching endeavors. And I'm so glad that you joined me and I hope you will subscribe and I hope you will come back um, and just if it's getting to be spring, enjoy spring. We're getting some spring here, so really looking forward to it. Let me go buy some plants today. So until then, I'm praying for all of you. You are amazing, and may God bless you, and I will see you soon. Happy stitching. Bye.